Hi everyone, Mike here with the National Weather Service in Wilmington with a hurricane update where we're tracking Dorian uh, just northeast of Puerto Rico as of this evening and it is moving northwest at 14 miles per hour with a maximum sustained wind speed of 80 miles per hour. So it's a category one hurricane now with the potential to become a major hurricane late this weekend into early next week as it approaches Florida. Here's the latest official forecast from the National Hurricane Center that was issued earlier this evening showing Hurricane Dorian moving northwest and towards the central portion of the Florida Panhandle sometime late this weekend or early for next working week. So the direct impacts from the landfalling hurricane, which is the highest wind speeds and the most likelihood for storm surge, will be well or at least expected to be well south of the Cape Fear region. And we'll continue to monitor this as the hurricane approaches. So what we're seeing here is not an impact cone. Impacts from the hurricane can happen well outside of this cone drawn here. What you're seeing is this is the most likely scenario of where the center of the hurricane could track as the coming days uh, as we move towards the coming days. So just keep an eye on the latest forecast for the latest information. This graph here depicts the tropical storm force wind probabilities of where certain areas will meet or exceed 39 miles per hour. So for the Cape Fear region, we can see that there's somewhere between 5 and 10% chance at this time of meeting or exceeding 39 miles per hour. So it's a low chance at this point where the greater likelihood is that this hurricane is heading towards central Florida. And that's where the main impacts will be. However, beachgoers heading out to Cape Fear area beaches will encounter rough surf from this hurricane as well as an increased likelihood of rip currents as the waves generated from this hurricane make it up towards the North Carolina and South Carolina coasts. Boaters could see rough and choppy water and the forecast definitely could change. There's still a little bit of uncertainty but for the most part this hurricane looks like it's heading towards Florida. So for the latest information stay tuned to weather.gov, click on the map where you can follow NWS Wilmington on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates. As we head into September in the peak of hurricane season, there's no time like the present to prepare for an emergency. Some steps you can take include signing up for emergency alerts in your community, knowing evacuation routes as well as shelter locations, and keeping important documents safe and accessible. That way, if you had to evacuate quickly, you could take those documents with you. Now's the time to prepare an emergency kit for hurricanes where it's recommended that you have at least three days worth of food and water for each member of your family. Don't forget your pets as well as how to power your electronic devices like cell phones and computers and radios in case the power goes out. And don't forget your medications too. Don't wait until a warning is issued to put together this kit because stores could be closed or empty by the time you get there and that would be a problem. And make sure you have an emergency plan in place and review it with your family before the emergency happens. For all of us here at the Weather Service in Wilmington, thank you so much for watching.